Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on in this tarot reading. Okay. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy always. As I have said, so shall it be. My goodness. Okay, real quickly, so last night, I went to bed, you know, had myself a good night's sleep. Had a couple of dreams, but there's one dream that stood out to me. So my four-year-old and I, we were in this house. She she never stayed in this house because she wasn't even born when I stayed in this house. But we're back in this house or something, and she sees a man in the yard, and she starts yelling, he's coming, he's coming. And in the dream, there was some type of familiar uh, discomfort with this masculine. So it possibly was someone we knew. I didn't even try to look at who she said, he's coming, he's coming. I just snatched her up. We went inside. We ran up into the attic and shut ourselves in there, locked the door. When we got, when we were going to the attic, she said, no, 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 no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Well, you know, in the moment of us, of me trying to get us to safety, because we felt really on, I felt unsafe with the person that was coming around. I didn't take a chance to look at him or anything. We ran in there. She said, no, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Well, we went in there, locked the door. When you, when I enter, we went into the attic. When I enter into the attic, it's like, bricks all around like you know the bricks they use to build houses that's what like cement bricks or like those uh, uh blocks that they used to use to build the old houses um in the i don't know 20s 30s 40s 50s something like that it's all red bricks and blocks everywhere in the attic um and we get in there we shut the door i kind of paint myself against the door to make sure that he doesn't get in. Somehow this sucker has a key to the door and he's trying to unlock it. He unlocks the door and he's pushing it open and I'm shutting it open. He pushes it open and I shut and I shut it closed, excuse me. We do this a couple of times and then, you know, my head is against the door. He pushes the door at my head. Like, I don't know if it hit my head really hard. Um, I end up waking up. So when I wake up, obviously I look at my four year old in real life now I'm up. I look at, I kind of like glanced over and she's asleep. When I tell you within like 30 seconds, this little girl is up. I was like, what in the world? So I'm kind of, I was just like thrown up by this dream. I'm like, so, okay, so she and I, apparently we have, <laughs> we have a past life. <laughs> we have something we need to overcome, I guess. Um, but it was just kind of shocking for me, which I shouldn't be shocked because, like, uh, I shouldn't be shocked because of the kids that I have. I, I'm already aware of who they are. Sometimes the middle age one, the, not middle age, the middle one when she's telling me stuff about her life from past lives and how she was like a, she was a bit of a wild card. It just, it cracks me up because her, like she in this lifetime, she's like the most polite, so respectful, kind hearted uh, kid you'll ever meet. But when she's talking to me about how she was in her past life, I'm just like, are you sure? She said, yeah, I was really wild. Like we used to get in a lot of trouble. Apparently she and her brother, they incarnate together a lot. So I have a son, an older son, a middle child, and then the four-year-old. 
the two older one, they're like best friends or something. They all, they, they incarnate together a lot. And she seen, she told me that in a past life, in a couple of past life, they incarnated together as best friends or just friends. And they used to get in trouble a lot. And I think she said in her past life, she had it so rough with how bad she was when she left that lifetime, went back to the spirit realm. She went to sleep for the longest time. She said, I think I was asleep for like a thousand years or something. And when I woke up, my angels were telling me that I needed to come back so that I could try again. And she said, I told them I didn't want to come back here. So folks, those are the kind of kids I have. That's why when I had this dream with my four-year-old last night, I already knew, like, okay, so I have, like, basically another one of me. <laughs> another one of me. Um, but it's not really something that, I'm, like I said, is shocking for me because, like, the four-year-old and I, we, incar we not incarnate, we have a lot of dreams a lot of the same dreams. I remember when she was like, I think six months old, I wanted to see either six, nine or 10 months old, one of those, you, 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 uh, I'm not sure which one it was. So I wanted to see like what she dreams about. So I astro projected into one of her dreams one time. And what I saw basically was, is that she was dreaming about me holding her in singing to her rocking her and that's what was happening in the dream there was nothing else around just me holding her and she felt safe like that she just felt happy that i was holding her i was like oh my lord i i, I birthed a little sucker <laughs> no but she, she's a sweetheart anyways so there could be something like that i don't know if there's something like that going on with someone um, you may be trying to kind of keep your peace, staying away from crazy people. Someone may be trying to track you down. They've been having a hard time tracking you down. And like I said, I didn't see this man that she was talking about. She just told me he's coming, he's coming. And I grabbed her and we ran to safety. So there could be someone stalking you, trying to find you all to bring you some type of problems. You could have a masculine that is trying to end some type of Toxic cycle with this King of Wands out here, followed by the world, and then the Ten of Swords out here. Absolutely, there is someone out here trying to put an end to you, your comfort. Okay, you're living a peaceful life. You may have left someone behind, um, and this person has been stalking you, trying to locate you. It does not have to be someone you dated. It would just be someone that does not like your peace and quiet okay um also i know this is kind of long before i start this read yesterday one of the videos i posted i didn't realize at the end of that video the mic had cut off what i was basically saying towards the end of the video which is kind of ironic though ten of swords is out here again what i was saying is that there could be a false religious figure that lie to other religious figures to get them to team up with him so that they could come in and destroy someone based off of a lie okay that's what i was saying in there and then i was talking about how there are there's a high priestess who is just as powerful as you that people misled to cause you problems and she's sending you know bringing balance bringing balance into a situation basically and you two are equally powerful right you two have that thing where you are balanced but she she does not mind indulging into her darker side when she needs to which is what i think she's doing to bring balance into some type of situation with a group of people um and you two these people don't know what you're going to do when you arrive at a destination they are afraid so let's go ahead and get into this read this terror reading today enough with the the chats <clears throat> so you have a king of wands out here that could be wanting to put an end to some type of karmic cycle this this is someone going to an ending with a group of people 
okay this could be someone that's very disingenuous pretends to be something he's not this could be like a manager business owner someone is very prone to pretending to be like he's a pillar of the community he does what's right he's a role model no this is someone greedy and financially focused this is a false person someone on you this is someone that's just really financially focused he's not receiving something um, and it's pissing him off, right? Someone is down and out, down and out, okay? He may have been expecting to receive some type of good news that someone that he's been attacking is out. No, okay, no, 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 no. Someone partner up with a queen of one, a queen of pentacles. The queen of one was about to come out. Someone partner up with a queen of pentacles, okay? In the other on the other side there's a king of wands that's putting an end to a relationship with a queen of pentacles he may be finding out that this woman did something this is like someone knowing you're supposed to arrive at a destination but she doesn't want you arriving at this destination she wants to be seen as the one that's fit for an offer for a position for an inheritance a gift an offer something like that right and she goes out of her way to bring chaos to you that's supposed to receive the offer and she thought everything she was doing behind the scenes was going to go in her favor she's not receiving this offer as you can see we have the four of cups out here she's not receiving it whoever she was working with things are not going in their favor as well these people basically manifested some type of horrendous reality for themselves i'm saying manifested because technically uh, listen there goes the queen of wands going through an ending as well, ending a chapter. Technically, that is basically what they did. It's manifest a horrendous reality for themselves because they're going through a lot of chaos. Someone here is down and out. You see the Ten of Swords out here. Someone here is down and out. And this King of Wands wants to put an end to this chapter, but there's some type of karmic experience that he has to go through so he can learn his lesson, right? It's a lesson this man has to learn so that he can be able to start over brand new. It says people are trying to avoid their karma. You can't. This is like someone knowing something is about to end for them. They're about to lose a lot. And then they want to reach out to you to give you some type of bread crumbing offer so that they can avoid karma. It's not going to work that way. You may just be making things worse for yourself when you do something like that because you're not doing it with a genuine heart. It's the motive, the intentions behind what you are doing that counts. If you're sitting about saying, hey, I'm just gonna, let me let me reach out to them and tell them, hey, I have this position available for you. I have this amount of money waiting for you. And if they accept it, then we'll know we're in the clear. We don't have to worry about us losing our finances, losing our homes, losing our, our luxury items and things like that are luxurious lifestyle that we are living at the detriment of this person we've been sneaking the universe sees all of this and they're like oh look at you poor little thing things this is not how it's gonna work this is not how it works you're pissing me off it's the intention behind what you are doing that counts it's the intention the intentions behind what you are doing that counts so someone may want to travel towards you now you could have this queen of pentacles that may want to come into your energy to ask you for forgiveness someone is going through a lot she may be living in a lot of fear she may be living in fear she doesn't know what's about to happen to her because she didn't count on you succeeding overcoming all of the obstacles they put in your way but it looks like you still did you, you overcame your enemies and she's not happy that you're going to be receiving this offer. It says someone said you were supposed to be down and out. You weren't supposed to make it. There's something they did or there are things that these people did, they grew up together to do. You were not supposed to succeed. You weren't supposed to succeed. Okay? They received some type of bad news about an inheritance. That you're still the queen you are actually the, the empress you are the actual empress and she's been misleading a masculine to make her make him believe that she was genuine when she's just a trickster 
Someone is very vain. She's not receiving some type of offer. She was presenting herself to be someone of high class, someone of uh, uh, affluence. She's not. If she was, she's falling from grace. She's about to be going through a little bit of a fender bender, and that's a lack of a better term. Someone is about to be going through quite a lot. <clears throat> quite a lot. She didn't expect you to stand your ground. She didn't expect you to fight back. She expected you to be worn out. But someone is realizing and accepting the fact that everything she did was just be making you better. This is like someone throwing a wrecking ball at you and they just know you're out. After they throw the wrecking ball, they turn their back, walk away, uh, only to realize the wrecking ball never made it to you. But you saw the wrecking ball coming. And you're like, oh, yeah, I got to get out of here. So you dodged the wrecking ball. She walked away already. But then somehow she turns around or finds out that the wrecking ball didn't make it to you. It didn't hit you. So she comes back to do something else. She does whatever she wants to do. Maybe it touched you, but you got back up. You learned that lesson. And it kept going on. This is a whole cycle that she started of throwing energy at you, attacking you and things like that. You keep getting back up stronger. It's that every time you fall down, you get back up 10 times stronger. Now you're so strong, this person can do nothing to you. They don't know what to do to you, actually. And she may want to come in now to make peace with you because when you get to your destination, there's, fire, there's smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire, basically. She's in hot water. She's in hot water. I'm telling you. Someone knew that she didn't have done something. Listen, she's in hot water. Someone trapped themselves to something. She bonded herself. She was the lead, the leader of the pack. Grab your pitchfork, forks. Let's go get the star seed. Let's make sure she does not arrive at her destination. Let's bring her chaos and conflict. Now she may be fighting with an emperor behind the scenes. And he knows that she's a fraud. They may even be seeing her as a thief. And they're not giving her something. She thought she was eliminating the competition. And that was going to mean she was the only one left. So there would be no one to compete with her. Like, hey, emperor, I'm the only one here. Look at that. She didn't show up for her meeting. This was a very important meeting that she was supposed to show up to. She didn't show up. And the emperor knows what she's been doing behind the scenes, by the way. Whoever is trying to give this offer, oh, they know. If this is a business owner, he knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows. This woman is about to lose a lot. Baby. She's about to lose a lot. Oh, my Lord. You see that? Trapped herself. Just like I said, this woman bonded herself to something she cannot get out of. Okay? She bonded herself to something she cannot get out of. Someone does not know how you remain content in some type of situation you shouldn't have made it out, out of. Every action she took was supposed to take you out. Some of you were supposed to be homeless. Some of you were supposed to be unemployed. Some of you were supposed to be divorced, all kinds of stuff, not, not receiving love opportunities, offers, or anything. This is how she had it planned. And someone went all out on you, all out. And she would do stuff. And then this emperor, maybe, or this king of wands, whoever it is, they didn't know what was going on at first. And he'll be like, well, what the heck is going on with this star scene? Why are they behaving this way? Why aren't they responding? It was Madame out there, that queen of pentacles. It was her. She was interfering with something. Communication, listen. Communications. All kinds of stuff. Someone has been doing a lot. She may have legal issues coming in that she cannot get out of, 
or someone is just trapped in their mind, there's someone karmic. All she knows how to do is play mind games. Someone's very toxic. And this is what people or someone is seeing about her. The mask has fallen off. She tried to take someone's power away from them. She lost her power. It says she didn't know who she was coming for. She didn't know. She's done this before. This is how someone succeeds or triumphs over other people. It's by tearing them down, stealing from them. Someone is a thief. But this one time, this star seed she came after, she was unable to take them out. And that's how it was divinely meant to be. You are someone's karma. You are someone's karma. And she may be realizing that. She may, may have seen you as a little twig. Like, flick you off. She flicked you off. You win. You bounced off on something. You came right back. And you landed at her feet. And she said, I thought I flicked this thing away. And she took you, flicked you off again. A little bit farther. <laughs> you win. You hit something. You came right back. And she saw you again. This time you're on her foot. And she just keeps seeing you everywhere. Someone is being hunted. Someone is being hunted. She knows that something she did, everything she did, is not in her favor. May want to come back to you now or come into your energy to ask for forgiveness. Because she knows she stands to lose a lot. You were supposed to be somewhere... And she's been interfering with that. Someone wants to be the only one in a few. There's some type of field industry. Someone wants to be the head honcho of it. But she's not passionate about this field. May not even know what she's doing. Someone copies other people's work and puts it out at her, as her own. Let's say Tarot. Someone watches other people's tarot videos, regurgitates what they're saying, but adds her own little spin to it. She adds passion to it. Yeah, that's what someone does. She's regurgitating what other people do. And she came across your platform, your work, whatever this is, and I'm just using content creating as an example because, honey, Obviously, this is what I do. So it's the first thing that always comes to mind. She's been doing that for so long. She came across your platform. She said, okay, let's see my platform. When you come across it, it's very colorful, very neat, unique. When you see mine, this is basically a brand, right? When you see this right here, you will automatically know this is the Ascender Definition Priestess channel. This is Cynthia's channel. You'll know this is my channel, right? Mm -hmm. Someone came across, let's say, my channel, and they were starstruck. They're seeing the woman with the chakras on her head. You see the yang yang, yang yang yang, woman out here, duality. Mm -hmm. The two snakes facing each other, right? She sees that there's a spiritual meaning to everything that's out here. I have my feather. My flowers, my everything, right? My uh, peony flowers right here. Everything here, there's a spiritual meaning to it. The lotus flower, fluorite crystals, my bell to summon my angels, Christ, my, uh, my angels, my ancestors. I have the amethyst crystals, okay, because of my ranking in the spirit realm and my soul guides ranking in the spirit realm. Everything out here, folks. There's a spiritual meaning to it. Okay? All right. So this person comes across my platform. She's starstruck. He's starstruck. It's a she, by the way. I'm just saying he to be general. Because <laughs> this is how some of us are clear. We'll see the person in our visions and dreams that are actually doing things. 
Yeah, she, this is a woman that's doing something behind the scenes. She's starstruck. So she starts copying your way of doing things or my way of doing things. She may even go and have this here created for her, right? She may buy an a amethyst tree, buy a vase like that. That's a unique vase. You're not going to find it anywhere else. May have someone make one for her. Don't know what the top looks like. All she knows is the bottom. She can figure out the bottom and have someone make it. She may try to find all of these pieces, right? These art pieces. Can't find this. My child made this for me. But she's going to try to have it duplicated. So then when people see her platform, they may start questioning your platform and say, well, wait, who's the actual person? The whole time you're putting in effort, she may have a contact at the headquarters of the platform that you are on. And they are, you know, uh, limiting your reach. So your platform maybe is dying out and hers is growing rapidly or something like that. This is just an example. Whoever this is, this is not how it's going for her. This may have been something that worked for her in the past, but with her in the reverse and that page of pentacles in the reverse, that's not how it's going for her. Especially with this four of cups out here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's not how it's going for her. She may have been very fruitful in the beginning of doing this, but that's not how it's going for her. Right? So maybe her thing, her, her platform was growing rapidly while yours was kind of staying stuck. And she may have said something, did something that illuminated what she really was to an organization, to an emperor. And they started looking into th things. And so, oh, you're not the original creator of this. Where the heck did you get these pieces from? Someone got caught in a lie. I say all that to say, someone got caught in a lie. Someone may be going broke. Someone is not able to receive payment for something she did. Uh-huh. Because a lot of those characters in here are experiencing financial issues. She got people to jump on the bandwagon with her to take you down. This is like you entering a new field and someone in that field is intimidated by you. So they rally up the troops. They support me when this empress or Starcy comes about. That means you don't support them. Support me in my cause to block this person from coming into our industry. Because someone is intimidated by you. You actually give two Fs about what you do she doesn't she's just in it for the money and now that she may not be receiving some type of financial payout or position or offer oh baby someone has found humble grounds she wants to come and tell you sorry about listen <laughs> i tell you a joke but i won't tell you a lie when i split the deck the knight of swords came out she wants to come in and tell you how she's sorry Make it look like she's advocating for you now. It's all a facade. She's gaslighting you. Someone is in fear of what's about to happen to her. She knows what's coming up for her. Yeah, she martyred herself. She was supposed to remove herself a long time ago, let go of something. This is judgment. This is you thinking you've done something and you're going to get away with it. You thinking you've destroyed someone's path, telling you she's done. She thinks she destroys someone's ability, possibility, chances at receiving some type of offer. And nope, she's finding out that she's not receiving it. Whatever this offer was, it's being secure for you until you arrive at your destination. This is how the Most High has it set up. You're about to be a whole business owner. Wherever you're going, the people there are going to respect you. 
because you're someone of high honor. Someone of high honor. You operate based on ethics, moral, principle. She likes that. Someone is insecure. She is insecure. I said business and this came out. You're about to be working with someone very affluent. Or you and this person coming together, you're going to be very affluent. Someone is very insecure. This is like someone doing some type of healing work. They're not healed. They're not healed. They're imbalanced. They're not pragmatic. They're not practical about nothing. Very rash with how they do things. Someone, I'm telling you, see that heart right there? Not healed. Going through a tower or ending. This woman picked a fight with the wrong one. This is like someone picking a fight with you and you don't even know them. What I'm getting here, there's no familiarity between you and this person. You don't know this woman, but she knows you. She has some person working with her. They may not be wanting to work with her anymore. Right? They may want to work with you now. Lord have mercy. Because everything she's done has led to an ending for them. Yeah, she's not getting her wish come through. Whoever this is, everything is showing up for her in an unsteady energy. She's not an impressed energy. She's not a star seed, not getting her wish come through. There's a couple in here, a toxic couple. This could be the both of them working together. They're not getting their wish come through. People are seeing them as very devilish. They're in balance. So not only are they showing up in the devil's energy, the star in reverse. That's alarming. That's alarming. And this is all your ancestors, the angels intervening, intersecting. They said, oh, we're going to expose these heifers. They have no idea. They want to play dirty. Oh, we play clean, but the way, the, the way we play clean, you would think we were dirty. We're going to expose. We're going to expose this couple, this toxic dynamic here, in a way they won't be able to recover from. This is all a ritual that was going on. This is something they didn't see coming. It was hidden from them. It was hidden. Someone who have been holding on to a masculine or a position through magic as well. Baby. Huh? Uh, this woman is going through H-E double hockey stick. H-E double hockey stick. These are all your enemies, what they're going through. Someone tricked a masculine to get in a relationship with him only to end up trapped. He feels trapped with her. He don't want to be with her. He wants to get out of the relationship. And he will. He may have had a child with this person or someone told him a child was his, may not be his. There's something for, like that for someone out there. These are all your enemies and what they're going through. Mm-hmm. The worst is over for you. Theirs is just beginning. Theirs is just beginning. This is coming out sideways. Why is it sideways? You need to be mindful of someone in here. This is not true advocacy. Be mindful of this King of Pentacles. This came out sideways. This man was working with these people behind the scenes. That's what this is. Be mindful of a king of pentacles coming in your energy. There could be a couple of them in here. He was working with a queen of cups in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. These are all your enemies going through endings, huh? 
Someone's sick in here, not doing well. Having a hard time recovery. This woman is having a hard time recovering. And I don't know if she'll be able to. That queen of pentacles in the reverse up there, honey. She's in between a hard place and a rock. This is like you trying to destroy someone, but then you have to go and ask them for forgiveness. And the person you were trying to destroy knows everything you were doing. Shame. The secondhand embarrassment is unbearable for me. It's unbearable for me. Yeah. Every action, every plan these people are trying to take out, the angels are interceding. Your ancestors are not playing. Judgment was already called before all of this started. That's the sad part. That's the sad part. Justice was already called. Judgment was already made before everything started. Because you know the spirit realm. They already know how things are going to play out. They'll just sit back and let us, you know, do as we do. And so we're just going to sit back and let them uh, play this out. We're basically like in a movie. We're in a movie. You can think of it like that. You have the main characters and the extras around them. And then you have the cast behind. Uh, 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 uh. Well, the cat, you have the cast, the main characters. You have the extras in the movies as well. They are there for a reason. And then you have the producers, all the other people behind the scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess you can consider the consoles to be the producers, the ones behind the scenes. But we're in a movie, folks. Except in this movie. <clears throat> There are actually consequences. When the camera shuts off, meaning when you leave this lifetime, you have to answer for your actions. You have to answer. Something that's supposed to come to you is protected. You've had a whole lot of people try to steal it and they can't. I'm telling you, I said people and the Ten of Cups came out. This is a whole family. They're unhappy. They're living in shame, regret. I think that's even like a, 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 a mm, I don't know if shame and regret should be the right thing. This is a greedy uh, family. They're not ashamed. What they are is disappointed because they lost. They lost a lot of money. All they have now is a lot of chaos to deal with. Meanwhile, your angels are protecting you. If you have a husband, a partner, family, children, you all are being protected. I'm telling you to move on with your life. To move on. To move on. I said it was a ritual these people were doing, and this moon landed right under the star in reverse. This was a whole ritual. Someone may have offered you up as a sacrifice in here. Um, they're finding out that uh, yeah, you're not an option for sacrificing. Someone offered you up to the devil. And the devil knew he, she, it could not have you. And the devil let someone. <laughs> because this is how the devil operates. Whoever went to offer you to the devil, the devil said, yes, this is one of my kind. And when that part, the devil said, I'll give you whatever you're asking for. What are you offering me? And when that person said, I'll give you this person, the devil looked you up two seconds. Oh, that is not one of mine. But he, she didn't tell that person that they knew they couldn't have you. This is why you're here in the reverse as well, star. The devil cannot have you. This is what he, she didn't tell whoever was coming towards them to make you as an offer. They never were able to really offer you up to this energy. You're not one of the devil's subjects. It says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. You don't belong to Caesar. 
This is how this energy sees himself as Caesar. He thinks he's very much in power. You don't belong to him. He knew, she knew, whoever this is, when he glanced at you, all, it, would, it took all but two seconds for Caesar to look at you and say, oh, that's not one of mine. But he didn't tell the nut kids that offer you up. He said, oh, man, this idiot here, they're going to find out the hard way that that star right there, that's not mine. I can't have that person. So I'm going to let them trap themselves. This person is free as can be. Someone has a direct connection to source and you come and offer them to me. You think I'm a fool? You think I'm an idiot? So what the devil did was let someone trap themselves. Martyr himself. He said, okay, folks, this is about to get real interesting, folks. We're about to go on a on an adventure, a joy ride. So the devil gave this person what they were asking for in the beginning. And now the devil's out here humoring himself, herself, itself, said, Hey, <laughs> where's that star see you offered me? I'm ready to collect. And that person started trying to fulfill their end of the bargain with the devil. He said, I'm going to go. I'll be right back. Let me go get them for you. And that devil is sitting back the whole time watching. Like, I want to see if he really can bring this person, if she really can bring this person to me. I already know they cannot. But, you know, a little bit of entertainment never harm anyone. <laughs> Again, entertainment. <laughs> Movie. <laughs> oh, baby. He went, she went, tried the first time to give you up to the devil. Your ancestor says, I think not. <laughs> it's, they went back to the devil and said, just give me a little bit more time. I promise I'll bring them to you. And the devil said, oh, that's okay. That's fine. He's, she's having a whole blast watching this person make a fool out of themselves. Comes back the next week. I just need a little bit more time. Oh, okay. They went another month past, trying every day to take you to the devil and your ancestors. By this time, they're prominently in your energy. They said, we're not going anywhere until this is done. We're not going anywhere until this is done. I'm telling you, they're, they're securing you. They said, we're not going anywhere. They are focused on you. Just like that nutcase is focused on handing you over to the devil, your ancestors are focused on you, making sure you are secure. Someone is not able to fulfill their end of the bargain. This is what they never saw. They never knew that. They didn't realize that the devil knew the whole time that you were, one, you were not one of theirs. You were not one of theirs. They cannot have you. Someone didn't know that. So they made a reckless move, basically. They miscalculated. Someone is not in tune with their intuition. Someone is very vain. They tried to dispose of you for finances. They may have accepted money from this energy. Now this energy here, oh, they want their money back. They said, well, you promised me a star seed. You haven't been able to deliver the star seed, so I need my money back. Someone may have misused the money. Ooh, and they're burdened. And they are burdened. They misused some type of finances. Misused it. Someone may gamble. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Someone may gamble. So they misused the money the devil gave them. They don't have a cent of it to give back. And the devil is about to be having fun. About to be misusing someone. Someone basically voluntarily sold their soul to the devil. Sold your soul to the devil and the price was cheap. You offer up a star seed and the price was deep. You may be getting out of here. I'm telling you. Something bad is about to happen to someone. But it ain't that star seed. I can tell you that. There's a couple in here that's having a hard time healing and recovering. They're living in fear. This is all divinely orchestrated. They are not going to be able to heal, by the way. 
they are not able to heal because you defeated them. You, there's someone in here, baby. Ooh. The level of protection you have is alarming to people that are in the dark. It's alarming. Someone in here is at a loss. They don't even know what to do. They keep asking themselves, like, why is this person disprotected? It all has to do with your calling and who you are. Your calling and who you are. They don't know who you are in details. They know of you a little bit. By this time, they know you're not meant to be touched, but they still can't figure out who you are. People are going to practitioners to ask about you. They want to know who you are. Why are you this protected? Why is the spirit realm? Why is the host of heaven this protective of you? That's because you're an angel. So the angels that are protecting you are protecting one of your kind. You're an angel in human flesh. There's a reason why you incarnated this lifetime. They've been trying to bring destruction to an angel. And they don't understand why they haven't been able to destroy you. So not only are you protected by angels, your ancestors don't play about you anyways. <laughs> Someone tried to bring you legal issues and behind the scenes, the authorities may have looked at you and they're like, nah, we don't believe that. <laughs> So, uh, uh, we don't want no parts of that. <laughs> we don't want no parts of that. Someone may have filed false police reports, had other people file false police reports, and they didn't think there would be an investigation. And the police looked into it. Someone may have even had the FBI involved in something. And they're wondering how you're not locked up why they can't bring you burdens that's because of who you are <laughs> it's a oh why did you file this false police report on someone why did you lie uh-huh because someone is very vain someone is a trickster someone lied someone lied Someone's very manipulative, conniving. Someone tried to complicate some type of new beginning. They're trying to make it difficult for two people to work this. See, I said two people, and when I split the deck, the two of cups is down here. Someone's trying to make it difficult for two people to work together. Okay? They're trying to make it difficult. I'm telling you. For two people to work together and create some type of abundance. That's what they're trying to do. And this is all because of jealousy. That Queen of Pentacles, that is someone jealous as heck. Yeah, yeah. She was trying to take someone out. That's what I was about to say. And you see this freaking uh, 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 King of Cups landed on the Ten of Swords. She don't want you two working together. This could be someone's mother. This man is freeing himself, by the way. He's not staying with this woman. He said, I'm going to try my luck somewhere else. Either that's his mother or a wife figure, someone he was with. He's separating from her. He was trying to trap this masculine. Or she was trying to trap this masculine. I said he was trying to trap this masculine. Is there a same sex relationship going on in here as well? Dang. Spirit? Spirit? What is going on? Is there a man that goes both ways? Baby, I don't even want to focus on that. It may, I don't think so. 
I think this is. <clears throat> hmm. I think this is a friend misleading another friend. Like they're trying to get him to stay in some type of toxic connection. He doesn't want to. He wants something more solid. He does not want to be, he doesn't want to be in a toxic connection. Someone wants to be in something more solid and promising, something more traditional. That's what it is. I don't think he goes both ways. But he, he it means there's a friend, there's a male friend that's ill advising this person, which is why he landed on the Ten of Swords. Someone was ill advising him. He listened to the wrong energy. He thought someone that was talking to him or he asked for advice was giving him the right answers, but it was someone that was misleading him. Someone has been causing problems for two people to come together. He may have been paid behind the scenes to cause problems in a union. If people have been trying to hire you, you're not hitting. Whoever wants to connect with you sees you. They know where you are. I'm telling you. He sees you. He knows where you are. He knows where you are. Baby. Oh, baby. These energies are exhausting. I tell you. They are exhausting. This man, I said, was leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving all this confusion behind. He's leaving all the confusion behind. I don't know why something keeps coming up in my head about sexuality. There could be someone in here that's confused. It could be the woman. Someone in here is confused about their sexuality. Not that it matters, but it's coming up. And I'm just going to glaze over it because I don't care about stuff like that. To each its own. If it makes you happy, that's what you do. As long as the person you are dealing with is okay with it, you're open with them about it, that's your business. I'm not getting into that. I'm not getting into that. As long as you're not on the DL trying to do stuff to people and you know you're into one thing, but you're putting people in a compromising situation, those kind of folks, oh, I have no type of respect or chill for you. I am going to air you out. But if it's someone that's straightforward with the people he or she is dealing with, that's a whole different story. Okay? Yeah. This man is moving on. He's letting go. He is letting go. He's letting go. Someone's, yeah, he is letting go to have a brand new start somewhere else. And he's going to be victorious wherever he's going. You see that? This, I think, that's why I was picking under there. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh. And then the, mm, the Judgment card at the bottom. This man... He knows the truth. He knows where he needs to be. He knows where he needs to take his offer. That's where he's taking his offer to. Someone wants to have genuine love. You may have touched someone or healed someone and you don't even know it. And people are upset about that. They're upset about that. Man, someone is, I don't know he, if he's traveling. Yeah, someone is traveling to make, to make some type of offer to someone, to you collective. And this is a secure position. And this is not something where it's going to be like he's trying to interfere with your life. Listen, we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom. There's some type of abundance coming someone's way. It's something so big. You won't even be able to understand. Oh, like you're going to be asking like for me, me, because someone has studied you. This is a source. 
Someone has studied you. He has studied you. Man, yeah. Someone has studied you and they know you are very skilled. He knows you're very skilled. You're showing up here with the eight of pentacles and the hermit. Dang. Oh my gosh. Someone is taking a new path in careers. You, with this masculine, you're, you're embarking on a new journey. This is not what you thought you were going to be doing with your life. You may have had your life planned out to go a specific way, or you figure you're going to be doing something specific. You're taking a new path. A new path. You're going to have to leave something behind, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Mm. And these are all the people. Dang. You're leaving something behind. You've turned your back on whatever chaos these people have been causing. You're not going to seal the calmer waters with a king of swords. He's exposed. He was coming into your energy with ulterior motives. He's out here as a liar, was working against you, working with a queen of swords that's overcritical of people. And she may have been told to walk away from something as well. So you're okay, collective. Like your new beginning is secure, it's protected. Your victory is ensured. Whatever opportunity you're receiving is allowing you to, to take a whole new path in life. But your enemies, the people that made you their enemies, is not so abundant for them. I'm telling you, it's not looking good for them. This is like you were supposed to arrive at a destination and people have been doing everything to block you and prevent you from arriving at this destination so that they can keep living the La Vita Loca at your expense. So if you're living in poverty, they don't care whether you have kids, you have some type of health issues, your kids have health issues, they don't care. They don't care. As long as you don't make it at your destination, yeah, they don't care. But you're going to. You are going to arrive at your destination. Yep. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This King of Swords is someone you are familiar with. This is someone you are familiar with. <laughs> Dang. Someone tried to destroy your work. And because someone sees things from a higher perspective now, they may be asking more questions. Mm. Someone lied. They lied about something, someone's work. Someone may have stolen your work and presented it as theirs. I mentioned that about their queen of pentacles. Someone lied. They may have been stealing your work and putting it out as their own. And they were expecting to keep this going for a long time. They weren't able to finish something because obviously they didn't start it. So there's a problem. But well, someone told a lie so you wouldn't be seen in your authentic energy that you are someone that's actually skilled and worth a commitment, loyalty. You're actually the one with the power, the gift. You have the upper hand in this situation. Hmm. And why, even though this person is making the right move, you best believe there's still someone there causing temptation, trying to cloud, confuse them, cloud their minds. Are you sure? 
you want to commit to this person and work in love and things like that. You and someone are meant to have everything. Love, empire, family, everything. Joy. Joy. Success. Blessings upon blessings. You awaken that masculine is what I was just told. You awaken that masculine. do our angel numbers excuse me i just woke up this morning didn't get my cup of joe i waited a little bit after i got up because when i wake up in early in the morning it's not the right time for me to do tarot readings because my soul likes to travel to other realms and stuff like that and sometimes by the time it gets back it's like oh i don't want to be back in this world i don't want to wake up like that I'm not ready to wake up. I still want to go travel. <laughs> Zero, fresh start, new beginnings. Okay? There is no beginning and no end. <laughs> All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are, you are gaining new insight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. So let's see. What was it? Maybe, was this 2022? It was 2022, I believe. Yeah. I started my healing journey really in about, I think, 2018. But it was like up and on because of the energies I was around and I had things going on at the time where I wasn't really like committing myself to it, excuses, excuses. But like by 2022, I had actually started committing myself to it. And I started reading a lot of different books and stuff, trying to understand spirituality, how things operate in the spirit realm. I've always been someone like with like gifts and things like that, um, like predicting thing, things and like seeing things, dreams having visions and things like that, but it's not really something I ever really put out there. So, uh, like, even like my, never mind, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> like, where I come from, uh, Africa, they're very superstitious. And when I was growing up, there was a little bit of superstition in me as well, because obviously I grew up in that environment. Um, so a lot of the times when you are someone that have those kind of gifts, you don't really say it, you'll keep it to yourself because people are so superstitious. They're quick to say you're a witch. And I remember when I was, I think, like four or five year old, years old, I had gotten in trouble or I did something. And I remember my mom was asking me, are you a witch? And I never understood why she was asking me that. But as I got older, I started understanding why she was asking me if I'm a witch. I don't consider myself a witch. I'm more of a, like, uh, what do I even call myself? Because I don't practice magic, honestly. I don't practice magic. I don't do the bibbity bobbity boo 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 doing this ingredient, that ingredient, spend, sending energy to people. All I'll say is I send you positive energy. If you don't deserve my positive energy, I keep it to myself. But I'm not sitting about being, oh, I want, I want this to happen to that person. I don't think that's me. But I think maybe when I was younger, maybe I may have had some type of hard time getting acquainted with who I was and the things that maybe I saw and could do. So maybe something happened and she was, and I remember just her asking me, are you a witch? But when I started my journey officially in 2022, it was a hard experience 
Like I had to get acclimated to quite a lot. To someone here, you may be having a hard time with your awakening. This could be a masculine. And a lot of the reasons, sometimes a lot of the reason why you're having a hard time is because of the people around you. They don't understand what you're going through, what you're trying to do, why you're trying to do it because that's not something they're interested in. They're not awakened. So you're in the wrong environment, trying to talk to people about healing, trying to talk to people about spirituality. You're in the wrong environment. That's why you're struggling with your healing. There's a masculine in here, you are relapsing for a while. I think you may be on a more sturdy ground now, but I hope you've removed yourself from these people. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups out here and the, the Hanging Man. So you more than likely removed yourself. Kudos to you. You're walking away from a community. I see the Three of Cups there and then you walking away. You're walking away from a community. You're traveling, doing something. So you may be on more sturdy ground. And I think there's still something in your mind that leaves you wondering. <clears throat> if you're doing the right decision, you are. You are. Okay. You're you're healing. You're about to have a new start. Life is about to be more fulfilling and meaningful for you. Meaningful is something that's important to you, is what I'm hearing. Zero zero angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. So you need to be aware of your surroundings, the things that are being shown to you. If you're showing up as a king of cups, that's mean you're someone that's a dreamer. Things may be revealed to you in dreams as well. Yeah. And you've decided to broaden your horizon like you're actually stepping out into the world to study new things have new experiences and you're committing yourself to your experiences that's beautiful you want to have new friends new alliances there's someone that's trying to hold on to that you're going to have to let go of She's trying to hold on to you. I don't know if you are trying to hold on to her. You're going to have to let go and let have her let go of you. Because she's not a healthy character. If you keep this person around, you're going to keep relapsing. One day you'll be here. The next day you're here. One day you're here. Next day you're here. And it'll get to a point where you'll start to despise that person. Because you'll know exactly why you were unable to achieve your purpose in life. You are unable to heal. You are unable to elevate or ascend in life. It'll be because of your connection to that person. So let them go. Three, but yeah, new alliances, sir. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. Okay? Oh, I'm so lord. That's, that's, a, that's, honey, I am creative. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.